the uh, we have now just selected our palette at the bottom. Let's see how this goes as our test video. So, okay, let's get a color. Let's start with the blue. And the pencil, we'll get second color. Okay. Question number one. So we're just using the screen and just grabbing about two fingers and enlarging it to get to focus on a particular question. What is the value of X? So here for question number one, we have a number machine. We have 354, 354 going into the machine. We're adding 65 and out comes the answer. Now, if we do this number add 65, that will give us an answer of 419. So, unlike my previous videos where I write on a Wacom pad and that gets in, I'm looking at the screen writing on a separate pad. Here I'm actually looking at the screen and writing on the screen. So let's just see, it looks, feels quite natural and nice and clear. Let's see if we get better videos. So here, question number two now, let's change color. Question number two, we have this, this is our left hand side, this is our right hand side. And to make it balance, they must both be equal. So five times by six is 30. So this side here must also equal 30. So we've got 300, we're dividing by the B value to give us 30. Well, 300, if we divide it by 10, that will give us 30 because then that will cancel. So the answer that we're looking for here is 10. Okay. Lovely. Oops. Okay, that doesn't that wasn't very good. So let's uh undo that. Okay, here we use our fingers. How many pairs of parallel lines does a regular octagon have? Now remember an octagon looks like this. Okay, so about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Now in these kind of shape here, so this is parallel to that, this one's parallel to that, so that's two parallels, then that's three, and then that one's four. So the answer is four. Question number four, what is the remainder of 457 divided by five? So we get our 457, we divide it by five. I'm using the bust up technique here. So how many fives in four doesn't go? So the four, the whole four becomes the remainder. How many fives in 45, that'll be nine exactly. And how many fives in seven will give you one with a remainder of two. Now the question is saying, what is the remainder? So the part of the answer that we are looking for so the answer is this part here only. So you just put down the remainder is two. Okay, let's move it up a bit. Let's refocus on question number five now. That's a good thing about the iPad Pro. I can actually uh, move the screen, move the pinch the page and move it around and refocus, make it bigger, make it so I don't need to. It's nice. That still is lovely. Next question. The key word in the next question. What is the perimeter of the shape? Now the word perimeter means the distance around the shape. Now, the way I teach perimeter, I use the coloring method. I teach my students coloring method. So let me show what the coloring method is. So we know this is four. So that means this bit and this bit and this bit is four. That's what, because those bits, if you move them to the side, they will add up to the total height. And this and this, and this is also four. So four add four will give us eight. Let's change color. Now the bottom here is saying this is six, which is the same as this bit. Add this bit, add this bit on the bottom. But this is also six as well on the top. So six add six gives you 12. And then if we add them together, that will give you 20. So question number five, we have an answer of 20 centimeters. Let's move up. Okay, express 13 over 65 as a percentage now. Whenever we change a fraction to a percentage, oops, okay, why is that gone fat? Oh, that looks a bit blobby. Okay, never mind. Right, let's just undo that. And let's use, okay. So 13 over 65. To change any fraction to percentage, you have to times it by 100 over one. So that's the method for changing a fraction to percentage. Now, when we cancel, we can cancel, let's choose another color, we can cancel in this direction, this direction, 
this direction or this these are the loud directions vertically like these ones here or diagonally like these ones here so them are the directions that we're allowed to cancel in now in this particular question the only diagonal that will the diagonal that i want to consider first is this diagonal here so let's get rid of all the other lines i'll do that by undoing everything okay let's get rid of all the stuff lovely so this is the diagonal that i'm interested in at the moment so let's get us have a green pen so 65 and 100 in this diagonal i can divide them both by 5. 65 divided by 5 will give me 13. now 100 divided by 5 will give me 20. now remember we are allowed to do multiple cancelling so we can cancel diagonally and vertically so if i try to cancel vertically now here okay then uh, let's get a different cooler okay black so now i've got 13 divide that by 13 is 1 and divide that by 13 is 1. so we're left with on the top 1 time by 20 over 1 time by 1 so our final answer here is 20 percent i think when i enlarge it too much it gets a little bit out of focus okay well maybe we'll manage to do six questions okay question number seven what is the difference between four two three and three four five well the word difference means the largest number minus the smallest number so we're going to do four two three minus the three four five and if you work that out using the traditional uh, method let's let's see if you can space to do that So 3 table 5, you can't do it. So we borrow. That becomes 13 table 5, which is 8. Then we have 1 table 4, we can't do it. We borrow from that. That becomes 3, that becomes 11. 11 table 4 is 7. And that gives you 78 for number. So that is how we would do it, actually. Okay, let's move it around a bit. Whoops. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. A recipe for cookies uses 24 cups of flour, 8 cups of butter and 6 cups of sugar. What's the ratio of flour to butter to sugar? So flour, butter and sugar, so it's in that order. Okay, lovely, let's get a blue. So we have 24, ratio 8, ratio 6. Now, we need to simplify them. We simplify them by dividing by the highest common factor. Highest common factor of 24, 8 and 6 is 2. That's 2 is the biggest number that they will all divide by. So let's go for it. So divide that by 2, divide that by 2, and divide that by 2. That gives me an answer of 12, and then 4, and then 3, and the question's done. Question number 9 now. It says shape ABC is an equilateral triangle. What is the bearing of A from B? Now bearing start from where it says from. So we've got to go to the from part. Okay, and now bearings are always measured from north. So we're going to go up and we've got to go to the A. A from B. So A is over here. So what we need to know is this angle here. So we need to go from north, we need to go clockwise, and we need to have a three digit answer. So these are the three rules needed to do bearing question. So we've established that we're gonna be starting here at B, and we're gonna be facing in the north direction and going in a clockwise rotation until we reach A. So we need this angle here. So let's pick another color. We know that if you do this angle here, that's the angle at a point on a straight line, that'll be 180. And then we have this extra bit here. So let's get a blue. This bit here. Now this bit here, and remember this triangle is an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, each angle is 60, 60, 60. So that's going to be half of 60, so that'll be 30. That part there. So we've got another 30 to add onto that. So that will give us an angle of 210. And that's our bearing. Our bearing has three digits measured from north clockwise. Done. Okay, now question number 10. So what is the mode of the following set of numbers? 
Well, the mold is the number that occurs the most often. And the mold in this case we have is two happens once, twice, three times, and four times, which is more than any other number there. So the mold is two. What is the probability? Question number 11. Probability question. What is the probability of a fair coin landing on heads when it is tossed? Give your answer as a decimal. Well, if you have a fair coin, we have a head or a tail. So there's two outcomes. And the probability will be head is one. So it's one out of two. A half. And a half is equivalent to 0 0.5. So the decimal answer we're looking for is 0 0.5 and that question is done. And let's move on to the next question. Question number 12. What is 94,873 expressed in digits? So we're changing those 94,000. 94,873. Done. Next question. Express 5 and 3 7 as an improper fraction. Improper fraction can also be, in, it's also another word used for that is called a top heavy fraction. So we start from the bottom with times and we add. So 7 times by 5 is 35. Then we add the 3 that gives you 38. And the bottom number stays the bottom and that actually is our answer finished question number 14 what is the number shown by the arrow in digits so let's have a look so 789 to 793 so that'll be 790 791 792 793 so now if you have one number and you divide it amongst five equal segments, one, two, three, four, five. So one divided by five gives us 0 0.2. So we are counting in 0 0.2s. So 791.2, 791.4. So that'll be 791 point four okay we're going to do one more question in this video and then we're going to do the next page in another video so it'll be two small videos rather than one quite long one so let's okay let's take this up here now the next question we're going to be using board mass when you're doing board mass you don't start over here and go that way that is wrong. That's the way you read the question, but bod mass gives us order. So, so what is the order? The order is brackets, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. We start with this one, most priority to least priority. So in this particular question here, we have to do the brackets first. Now five minus one is four, so we've got four squared. Four squared means four times by four which gives us 16. So we're left with now, if you copy the rest down, two times by three, add 16. So now if you look here, we have multiplying and addition, and multiplying comes before addition. So that gets done next. So two times by three will give you six, copy the plus 16 down. Now the add gets done, now the add gets done. So you have six, add 16, and that will give us an answer of 22. That is the number one. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, folks, thank you very much for joining me on this video. I'll just reduce, change the page back to normal size. And that's all the work we've done today. It feels quite natural writing on the sheet, or well, actually on the iPad itself. And is I think my handwriting looks much better because I'm actually writing and looking in the same place. It's very natural. So let's see how this video comes out when it goes onto the net. And please post any comments uh, about the video production as well as the actual the knowledge part of it. I would appreciate any feedback on how I can improve the video uh, in terms of uh, the end user finding it more beneficial in terms of colors and writing and sizing and stuff. So please leave comments below. I would appreciate that to get some feedback on using this new technology. 
which is the iPad Pro. And the writing on the screen itself is looking quite nice. Okay, thank you very much for joining the video. See you in the next one. Okay, let's.